Oh, the smell. Oh, my good. Oh, my goodness here. Okay. So now I'm going to kick the heat. Kick the heat a little bit just to get that heat going. And the pan, get that pan up to temperature. So it's a nice pepper. Himalayan salt. Okay, I'm gonna move it over to the big burner now. That's what we'll do there. Nice olive oil. So I want to really get them going, uh, get them real good on the top of the stove here. So move these on the inside of the way, they have the gar nice garlic underneath. Get the bottom side here a little bit. Okay. So I'm just gonna get let these go. I don't wanna get too hot. I kind of just want to simmer them down a little bit. Like uh, maybe like a core, like a third, a third cook. And I will be right back. The sizzle cells, come on in. Look at this baby here. Woo! Oh yeah. So you know, give it a good head start instead of cooking it all the way in the oven and you've already developed a little bit of flavor. So this is what I'm gonna do. A little bit of basil on there. So a basil pesto we made. You know, I knew it would come in handy. So this will cut cut down the cooking time considerably. Uh, you know, they really like this time of the year. These romas. <clears throat> didn't have a whole lot of flavor. So it's kind of why I kind of roasted them. I, I pulled them out of the restaurant. We bought a case, you know, and you know, you gotta, you gotta utilize what you have. You know, I just can't let it sit around and rot. And you know, but these are nice, nice, still firm. We got a good sizzle going. See? A little Parmesan. I saw in another video the other day, it was kind of going all over the stove. So, here we go like this. Keep it in. And uh, but here, here it goes, right in the oven now. I'd say probably about, uh, I got a 350 oven, kind of a hot oven. And uh, I'll put them on the, on the top. There they go. Oh, what a flavor. Cannot duplicate nature. 
Thank you guys, Coma Blues. We'll be back probably 25, 30 minutes. We'll check them out. Oh yeah, the sizzle sells. And one more time. And one more time. All right, back in. We got, uh, I'd say probably another, gonna go about another 10, 15 minutes. We'll be right back. Alrighty, you know what? You just keep your nose open. It, it, it'll tell you. It'll tell you when it's ready. This this flat this smell is like mind blower. Let's take them off here because we're gonna utilize this skillet while it's hot. So I have all that good flavor on there and, and I, so I'm gonna do a flatbread. I got a nice, uh, we set this dough sat around for cold fermented in the refrigerator for a while. So here's what I do, going in. Okay. I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of a uh, red sauce. Pizza sauce. I don't want too too much pizza sauce. Just light. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, just real light cheese. I don't want a lot of uh, this is a mozzarella uh, cheddar provolone blend. We'll just use up, I guess, what we have, you know, no problem. Parmesan, Parmigiani. All right, in the oven. In the oven. I'm gonna crank the oven a little bit. I'm gonna crank the oven up to about, I'm gonna crank it up to about uh, 375. It's up to 350 now. A little higher, like 390, 400. Live large. Here we go. All right. Yeah, these are all too hot to. I'm not touching that right now. I'll tell you what. Good way to. I'm kind of out of condition here eating that uh, food right out of the oven. All this, uh, these breaks we've been taking. Uh, got plenty of rest, having some fun around the house, uh, doing what we can do. Um, but we'll get through this. We see, hopefully, we see a light at the end of the tunnel here. Uh, but you know, Connecticut's the numbers are still going up, coming from New York City. Their numbers are going down. Ours are kind of going up a little bit. But we pray we'll get through all this and be back, back in action down the road here soon. Peace. All right, let's check it out now. I, uh, we got about about halfway, three quarter cooked right now. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I'll take a few of these here. Pull some of the skin off. All right. 
So then, a little bit of extra Parmesan. All right, I'm gonna put it back in probably for another 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, we are ready, ready. Flat bread. Okay. Pull it up off of here. Oh yeah, got nice crisps. Crisp crust on it. So we'll cut it. Yeah, got a nice crust on it. Yeah, so go to your bakery, ask them, pizza shop, they should they should sell you a crust. You can make your own toppings. That's it. That's a nice flatbread. Gotta let that pan cool off. We'll clean it while it's hot. And now uh, you got the broiled tomatoes for other recipes, for a salad. One of my favorite, because you know, really they don't have a lot of flavor this time of the year, but when you cook them, the flavor concentrates. They become delicious. I eat them cold. You can pack them in olive oil. But Daddy Jack's Cooking with the Blues here. Check us out. Uh, become a member of Cooking with the Blues on uh, Patreon. Patreon.com slash Cooking with the Blues. And we put up, we're producing some music and all kinds of cool stuff up on there. Peace.